with the virus. Okay, two other um, quick announcements. Um, today, we, we've been talking a lot around around the vulnerable population. I've said so many times, if you were poor or homeless or housing insecure or unemployed before the crisis, this pandemic has hit you the hardest and I, I'm sorry, it's been so tough. I know it's, it's really hard, hard to put food on the table, hard to take care of your kids, hard to keep a roof over your head. And so the whole time we've been responding, we are trying to help you meet your most basic needs of food and shelter and medical care. So today I have a special request um, and I think opportunity for Rhode Island's landlords. I have asked everybody to pitch in here. At different points I've been up here asking everyone to do their part. And you've all said yes every time. It's been amazing. Today I'm asking landlords to step up and do your part. Right now, and I do believe, and we've come up with something that will help you and your businesses while you help people who need a place to live. So I've heard from a lot of landlords, it's a tough time to rent a vacant unit right now um, uh, for obvious reasons. Also, we have a lot of people who are just housing insecure uh, or homeless or on the verge of homelessness. So a few weeks ago, I announced that we had a $5 million initiative uh, to provide more affordable housing. Today, I'm proud to announce that as part of that, some, one of the ways we're gonna use that money uh, is that we're gonna be supporting Rhode Islanders who qualify for housing vouchers, but who often have a hard time finding landlords who are willing to rent to them. I would say that's always wrong. I have stood firmly in favor of ending discrimination on the basis of source of income, but now during this crisis, it's especially wrong and especially problematic. So we are launching um, an initiative called the Housing Now Campaign. We're launching this in partnership with the United Way and with the Rhode Island Realtors Association. Thank you to the United Way and thank you to the Rhode Island Realtors Association. You guys have been great partners as we try to figure out a creative solution here. So here's my challenge to the landlords of Rhode Island. I'm challenging you to pledge at least 100 rental units by the 1st of July. 100 rental units by the 1st of July to be rented to folks that have housing vouchers. It's an aggressive goal, I realize that. There's only a few weeks left, but I'm a firm believer that if you aim high and set a goal, people will get there and they will act to achieve the goal. And this really is a matter of life and death. Homelessness in this crisis is a matter of life and death. So um, here's how it's gonna work. We're going to give landlords a $2,000 signing bonus for the first unit that they make available to serve a household experiencing homelessness and an additional $500 for every additional unit. Uh, we're also gonna offer landlords as m up to $2,000 a unit to support upgrades, move-in upgrades, like minor renovations and repairs. Again, this is part of the initiative I announced weeks ago, and we think this is a very creative way to quickly help families who are struggling with homelessness. Landlords will benefit because I've heard from you and I've heard from the Realtors Association, um, it's a hard time to rent. You have a lot of vacancies, a lot of turnover, and could use a hand in fixing up some of these apartments to get them up to code. So I think this is a win-win, and I'm asking you to pitch in to help the people of Rhode Island. The quickest, easiest way to get information about this is to call 211. So again, thank you to the United Way. You could call the United Way 211, and you could get information. That's the quickest, easiest way to get information. Um, if for whatever reason you can't do that, you could call uh, the Rhode Island Realtors Association, you could always call the Commerce Hotline 521 HELP, but the best way to do it is through the United Way 211. So I hope on July 1st I can get up here and say, 
we've given um, housing to 100 families who otherwise would have been homeless. And in fact, I hope it's more. I hope we do more.